make up your mind, you're going to stay with the breath and keep it made up. Don't let it fall apart. Don't let it start flowing along with whatever comes by. When we meditate, we're going against the stream, we're going against the flow. Because the flow is either the flow of craving or the flow of the effluence, the flow of the flood, all of which are flows that go downhill. This is the way it is with the world. You read the history of the many centuries, and it's always missed opportunities because people were flowing along with their greed, flowing along with their aversion, their pride. All the things that the Buddha said are unskillful, yet they allowed themselves to flow along. Here we're trying to make a difference, which means we have to go against the flow, which is why we're coming to the present moment, because this is where you can make a difference. You can't go back and change the past, but you can change the present. You're shaping the present all the time. And so we meditate to get clear about how we're doing that, so we can shape it in a good direction. Otherwise we flow along with our old habits and hardly realize what, what's going on, because we're paying attention to other things, other ideas, other times, other places. The Buddha says the important thing in your life is what you're doing right now. And you have choices. So make the choices that make a difference, that go against greed, against anger, against delusion. You have to stand fast, but that's what these establishings of mindfulness are for, so you can stand fast. You have your island in the flood. You can get up above the flood. And you look at the flood of the world, maybe you can't divert it that much, but you can do something, at least a little bit. For At the very least, you're taking responsibility for yourself. Most people look for happiness, they don't care about responsibility, they just care about their ideas of what pleasure may be. And that just flows along with the, the general flow. You're going against the flow when you say no. I want to be responsible. I want to step back from my desire for happiness and see where it's leading me to do unskillful things, and how I can still look for happiness but do it in a skillful way. Don't believe the people that say that you shouldn't be looking for happiness, or that you shouldn't have any sense of self at all as you're practicing. You want happiness, but you can do it in a wise way. That's the message that the Buddha gave. And even though your sense of self is something you're going to have to let go of, you can use it along the way to motivate yourself to realize that, yes, you are responsible, and two, you will benefit. And then three, you're, you've got the ability to step back and look at these other selves. It's in there that you can make a difference. You can see what you're doing that's not skillful, that's causing harm either to somebody else or to yourself, and you can change. If we couldn't change our ways, as the Buddha said, he wouldn't have bothered to teach people, but we can. So listen to his teachings and get some ideas about the good ways of doing that, and make up your mind that that's what you want out of life. Otherwise, you just become part of the flow, and things erode and nothing much gets accomplished. But when you make a difference, that's when the devas sit, sit, take note So oh, here's a human being who's making a difference. But more importantly, that's when you take note that you, you can make a difference in your own mind, in your own actions. And the difference that you make really really matters.